Well, the video I wanted to put out this week has been postponed because New Zealand has been hit by yet another major weather event. Cyclone Gabriel, it's the second major weather event in two weeks and it has caused massive destruction. If you've watched YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. There are so many bridges have been swept away. There's intense flooding and landslides and housing collapses. It's really terrifying. And of course, the electrical grid in a lot of the North Island has been impacted. So many homes and businesses without power. So many petrol stations currently cannot provide fuel because no electricity, no petro fuels. However, there is a tiny glimmer of hope in all of this, and that is electric cars like this one, the BYD Atto that I've just picked up from BYD, it can be turned into a massive power bank. And that's what I'm doing right now, driving 35 kilometers into the sticks to go and provide electricity for an Ecotricity customer who has been without power now for almost two days. Honestly, wait till you see what this car can do. It's impressive. Also, I want to thank BYD because they've stepped up to the plate with no fewer than three vehicles at our disposal to provide to customers. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you, guys. Also, shout out to Hyundai and to MG who have also offered vehicles. You guys are all awesome. This is the Kiwi spirit. And I've been watching you guys on the electric car forums and electric car discussions on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff to see how you guys are all operating, electric car owners, stepping up to the plate providing your cars to strangers, providing electricity from your cars to strangers. Be proud of yourselves, this is really good stuff. This is gonna be a short video, it's just me driving across to a customer in need to give them electricity while we wait for their grid supply to be re-established. And I guess you could argue that this is PR for ecotricity, but we're gonna do it anyway, we may as well take the cameras along. And besides, it does give you an example of how electric cars work in a crisis. And if you're interested, I reviewed this BYD Atto 3 in detail. It's just one car of the year, and for good reason. It's great value. It does 420 Ks per charge, and it has every option imaginable, including being able to provide power out of its 60 kilowatt hour battery, and that's enough to run fridges and heat water for Kiwi households for weeks. I will say one thing though, the, this BYD, handles incredibly. This suspension that's firm but not uncomfortable, it's just this perfect mix. They put a lot of effort into building this vehicle. Every time I drive a, whoa, BYD, mind the treat. Every time I drive a BYD, I'm blown away at how refined the ride is in these things. It's just a shame that every car doesn't have this vehicle to load adapter function. They should, they all should, especially cars that have massive battery banks. This is something, first of all, Tesla should be doing. But still not every vehicle has a vehicle to load adapter. Now I know as Kiwis, we don't like to pat ourselves on the back too much, but come on, how many other power companies are hand delivering electric cars full of renewable electricity to get their customers back online? You've got to give Ecotricity credit for that. This is catastrophic. This road's collapsed entirely, look at this. Sliding away, and this is nothing. There's parts in New Zealand that'd be much harder hit than this. Now there is a chance that I may not be able to get there because the road is closed for residents only. Don't know how far it goes. Let's go around each corner carefully. 4.3 k's to go. Oh no. Bugger. Okay, the whole road's gone. Okay, so even getting there is not going to be easy because the roads are all gone. So. Now I think I've got about a 20 kilometer detour. Oh. Okay, so we've hit a bit of an impasse. This is Mark, my boss. He's my ride after I drop off the Addo 3, but that's the roadblock we're dealing with right now. So we have to try a third way. Ah, we'll get there. The electricity must get through. And as I navigate the debris after the storm, I should point out that it's not only Kiwi EV owners who can keep going during a crisis, but those of you with solar or battery systems on your homes too, which makes up more than half of all Ecotricity customers. Having this technology allows Kiwi homes to keep going during a crisis, and it's not just an expensive dream anymore. Because even though I'm a tightwad, I'm going to install a similar system on my own roof, that roof. So hit the subscribe button as not to miss that video. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to show you how the whole system works and how easy it is to install and how much money I can save because I can either buy or I can just rent the entire system. So once all the energy savings are taken into consideration, I'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Plus, 
in the next climate related disaster, I'll be okay. This is it. Ooh, that is a tight driveway. All right, let's get this thing working. Okay, so how it works is one end plugs into the car's charging socket, and the other end is regular New Zealand Australian plugs. Let's give it a go. And we can get this customer online. Alrighty. Here we go. So here's, oh, oh brilliant. Well, here's uh, two outlets. Oh. If you just press that button on the top, it'll turn the power on. Hey. It's always going to have that little display on there now showing you what the percent of the car's battery is. Okay. And that's it. Once it gets to 15%, it'll stop the power automatically. Okay. If that happens, call me, I'll come recharge the car. Have you tried it? Yep, power's on. Power's on? Yeah, you can power. Oh my god. We have a giant battery. It's just amazing. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. <laughs> it's pretty neat, isn't it? I'm impressed house. myself. You know, I've um, seen this before, but. <laughs> but I mean, having been without water and power since Monday, and it's what Wednesday afternoon. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Hey, this is incredible. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. And took like two minutes. It's so easy, isn't it? That's brilliant. Why doesn't everyone do this? It's amazing. <laughs> Because yeah. people often say on, on the internet, like, what do you do in an emergency if you have an electric car? Yeah. What are you going to do? And the question is, I'm now asking is, in an emergency, what do you do if you don't have one? Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Actually, that's a good line. I might use that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well done.